Hi everyone, my name is Bella the Act Fury and here are eight interview tips that I wish I could tell my younger self to help you land an offer this internship or job application season. Number one, the interviewers have to be nice to you in order to keep you interested in the company and the role. The interviewers being nice to you and making you feel good does not reflect anything about how well you're doing an interview or their level of interest in you as a candidate. Number two, similar to number one, the length of your interview does not reflect anything about the company's interest in you. Some companies have an interview process that is hours long, while other companies have an interview process that is one hour. Having a longer interview doesn't mean that they're necessarily more interested in you than if you had a short interview. This is because companies just have different interview processes set up by HR. Number three, if you're someone who finds it easier to plan out what you're going to say beforehand instead of coming up with things to say on the spot, <clears throat> if you're an introvert, my biggest tip is to create a Google Doc of common interview questions and write down all of your answers to each one. Practice answering the questions with the answers that you wrote down until you're able to kind of recite the answers or until they're at least somewhat ingrained in your memory. Of course, we don't want to completely memorize the answers word for word, but writing an outline and being able to remember what you wanna talk about in an interview is definitely gonna be super helpful. The day before I have an interview, I like to be able to pick any question off of the Google Doc and practice answering it out loud to make sure that I'm not stumbling over any words and that I remember all the points that I wanted to make. Also, don't be afraid to reuse examples in your answers. For example, if you worked on a project that you're really proud of, don't be afraid to use the example of that project in multiple different answers. Okay, I'll do an example. If the interviewer were to ask me questions like, why do you wanna work for this company? And tell me about a time you worked in a team. If that project that I'm really proud of was a team project, and if working on that project led me to discover another one of my passions, like working on catastrophe risk, for example, I could then use the example of that project in both of those answers. So basically you don't have to come up with a new example for every single question that the interviewer asks you. Learn how to apply each example in multiple different ways. Side note, if you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe below. Let's get back to the video. Number four, the interview process does not end after the technical or behavioral questions. Oftentimes, companies will have a multi-stage interview process. There'll be the welcome meeting where you'll meet probably the HR person. There'll be a team meeting where maybe a manager of the team you would be working on asks you behavioral questions that you would answer using the STAR method. And then maybe there's another portion of the interview where you're asked those technical coding questions by other members of the actuarial team. And then maybe there's some more in formal parts where you're just getting to know the other members of the team, but they're also asking you questions about yourself. I think one of the mistakes that I've made in the past in one of my interviews was feeling like because my interviewers were being casual, that that meant that I could also be kind of more casual. But that is not true. The whole time you are interviewing, you are being closely watched and analyzed. So always be sitting up straight, always be using professional language, always be giving your best thoughtful responses. You have to be 100% on from the time you walk into the building up until the time that you're driving away from the building. Even how you interact with the security guard at the front desk can make a difference of if you get the job or not. In summary, no matter how informal the interviewers say that the interview is, always be on your best behavior. Treat every interaction that you have as a test because it is. Number five, this tip is for the technical slash coding part of your interview, which I know can be quite scary and intimidating sometimes. I've definitely been through a technical interview where I struggled to answer the questions and could literally feel myself becoming more and more nervous. Remember that it's always best to just keep your composure and keep calm. It's not the end of the world if you can't answer every single one of their questions. My tip though, is that if you don't know how to answer a question, be honest about it, but also give an explanation of how you would otherwise solve this problem, whether it's in a different application or a different method. Let's say they're asking you to solve how to manipulate some data in RStudio, but you don't have much experience with RStudio. You can let them know how you would solve that problem in, for example, Excel. Number six, this tip is gonna help you stand out from other candidates and it is do your research. Before your interview, look up recent news about the company. And then in your interview, ask questions about those recent events to impress your interviewer with your level of interest and preparedness. 
Another fun question might be to ask about if they have any fun future plans for the department you'll be working in. My only warning here is if you find news about the company that puts them in a negative light, for example, if you find news that the company is going through a lawsuit because of fraud, for example, don't bring that up in the interview. And secondly, if you know who your interviewer is going to be before your interview, look them up online. I find LinkedIn to be a really good place to do this. That way, if there's a natural opportunity in your conversation with the interviewer to bring up questions about their career journey or their hobbies or their volunteering experience, then this can be a great way to connect with your interviewer and again, show how prepared you are. Number seven, don't be afraid to get a little nosy. Ask your interviewer what their favorite part is about working for the company or what projects they most liked working on. See what kind of information you can collect from the interviewers about the company's culture. Hopefully you'll be able to get a sense of if the employees are being overworked, if there's a good sense of life-work balance, if there's support by the company in terms of ERGs and diversity and employee support, mental health support. You could ask about the type of events that the company hosts for their employees throughout the year. I think a really cool question would be to ask if your interviewer has been able to start a new project or go through with a new idea that they had. If you're someone who likes to be creative and innovative, asking this type of question will allow you to see how creative or innovative employees are allowed to be. Okay, last tip number eight is understand the current state of the insurance market. Especially in the area of insurance that you're looking to work in, it's probably really important to know if the insurance market is in a harder soft market, meaning how easy or hard it is to get insurance, how expensive it is. For example, if you're looking to go into property and casualty, understand how hard is it to get home insurance right now, especially in specific states. How hard is it to get cyber insurance right now? Pretty hard. There will likely be some relevant questions about these kinds of things in your interview and in the casual conversations with your interviewers. These topics of conversation are things you should be able to contribute to with your own knowledge. That is all for this video. Those are my eight interview tips that I wish my younger self knew, and hopefully you all found them helpful. Before I close out this video, I like to shout out five commenters who commented on my last video. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel below to see more actual science related videos. Bye.